Someone called, so long my stubborn friend, another day I'll see. <laughs> Happiness comes to me, a dam breaks and I'm ready. Sometimes I deflate, but then I return to buoyancy. I don't have to wait long, the silence comes over me. It passes like a fog, when I'm strong, it just flows to me. I sign up, I say pick me, and commit to each opportunity that seems to stick. And I get these gusts, and I get these wisps of feeling that success is a shoe I can fit. And I marvel and I wonder if I need more time to stay with the boredom, oh, just for a while. But whenever I feel weak and add to the pile, I'm rewarded not with defeat, but an all-growing smile. And I wonder if I'm wiser as a result of letting myself lose all somersaults. Becoming so obtuse and off-beaten trail, and I'm stronger and wholesome the more that I fail. But I feel so discouraged. Reality pales in comparison to where I feel I should be. And I've been so anguished and stubborn and arrogant and all I've got to show for it's my poetry. And I'm under-edited, weak, un unrevised, and sheer undercredited hearing my cries. And the door remains open. Oh, until I die, I might just meditate on reasons why. What would I do to fill my books with every proposal that looks remotely inspiring to me and lace it into my destiny? With the courage to expand on ideas that mean the most to me, an elegant speech or at the very least into my artistry, I long to lay it onto pages, let life in, give them a glance. I'll tell the story of the ages if I would give myself a chance. Or swirl it into song and dance if I have to fall back, have a fallback plan. I'll tell it any way I can to help man understand. I'd weave it into tapestry or blow it into glass. I'd hold my breath and knock on wood that I'd stick to the plan. I feel like I'm leaving when I revel at the stack. Like my soul says, no, nope, it's been a slice, but now I must extract my love into the ether, for worse or for the better. Colleen, you dilly-dally long, but never did you grasp the fullness of your expression. Spend your days in ill digression, throwing up your hands in sink the sinkhole of depression. And what a folly, what a loss, too late to learn your lesson. You'll have to wait for a new life, now in another dimension. Because you've been told that it is so, your flower will not bloom again. Not on this earth, you've had your fun, so long, my stubborn friend. And I'll do everything I should to ensure that I advance until the final stages and until the very last. Feeling the sensations of the saga in its vast journey to completion to be put into the past. There is not deletion, and there is no map. Let the sorrows deepen while my study will collapse. Let the subtle sweeten when it falls with ease into my lap. There are loving people that are helping me bounce back. There is a leverage in leaping, and although it can't, I can't go back, there's no use in teasing myself with what I lack. I can be strong in chaos and know when it's time to laugh. I bring my mind to breathing when each day falls to black. I know what I'm needing, and I'm not under attack. I've paced up my priorities, and I'll take a break to snack. I'm graceful in minority, but I'd be in a shack if I didn't help my mom and dad to help put pink clothes upon my back. And I dispose of solipsism stopping in its tracks, turn my head like an eroticism or hearing a whip crack. And most times, I'll settle softly without a spit, without a single spat. And not a lot gets by me in regards to that. And I care about logic and I care about tact. And spare me derogatory defense react. Spare me the worry and impulse to scrap defile. Be safe my purity. Be safe my spiritual self.
numbers of pages. <laughs> Somehow my flight has been has poison. The loose ends seem to tie. I tell you of the buoyancy. I sink only when I sigh. So living I in disbelief that the earth still hollows me. I rub my eyes and find my feet. Another day I'll see. Thank you.